Right, hello. Today we're going to be replacing the plastic bezel on a Nintendo DS Lite. As you can see here, the hinge has been snapped, so the, the lid's all floppy and that's not really in a sellable condition. So we're going to take this apart, swap in a new piece and put it all back together. So let's get started. Obviously this is one of the um, more common problems with the DS Lite. They've always got knackered hinges. They were a great looking machine, but they're just not very strong. And of course people of the younger age use them a lot and they're less careful with them. They get slung around, thrown about, and end up snapped. And then like this one, they end up at a car boot sale for four pounds. And I'm quite happy to take your DS Lite for four pounds and fix it. Right, that's the back off. Obviously, before this goes up for sale, it will need a, a pretty good cleaning because it's rather grubby. This is always a nightmare to get back in. The Wi-Fi antenna cable. As you'll see in about 10 minutes when I try to put it back together, it's going to cause me some grief. If it goes through first time, it will be the one in 20 times it does. Most of the time, it's an absolute pig. Let's get corner hinge off here as you can see there's the little barrel hinge that will slide nicely into this at some point And then we hope we've got it the right way. Right. 
sweet, isn't it? That can stay there and there. Right, now let's take this. Without ripping the screen ribbon cable. There's a nice little cutaway there to get the cable through. Yep, that's you done. Go to one side and have the screws out of the screen. Now, all of these are going to have to go nicely back into the other system. And getting them through this little, well, it's not hinge so much, it's a, um, I don't know, it's a hole. It's a hole in the thing. Getting them through there is a, a bit of a nightmare. As I say, not as bad as trying to put that stupid cable back in for the Wi-Fi antenna. Roll it up like a little sausage and then just poke that through. Excellent. Now, this needs to come out. That's bin fodder. And if I remember right, these don't fit in here properly. So I need to file it down a bit. Obviously their um, third party aftermarket replacement front bezel things from the wondrous AliExpress. can't be expected to be perfect but I do expect them to fit without all of this having to make do stuff I'm not MacGyver because if I put that like that it doesn't sit right I need to lose some mill
much better. Hey. Lovely. Right. Roll that back up. Poke it through. Wi-Fi cable. Microphone. Spot the screen back in. If only the 3DS was quite as simple as this. I'll stick one of them together at some point, but my word, they're a nightmare. tell I'm thinking about 3DS's because I haven't put the lid back on whereas on the 3DS right, on, on the DS Lite you can put the lid back on as soon as you've got those cables through the cylinder on there on the 3DS you've got to slide things across on here to hold it in place so you can't now, all my buttons are going to fall out the bottom If you've done this before, can you spot the mistake I've made? It's nothing huge and in a minute I shall rectify it. But if the bins had gone out, I'd have been knackered. Yep. I've left that and that, the little rubber stoppers in the other front bezel and thrown it in the bin. But that was easily fixed. There we go. Back in the bin for that. Back in the side for these.
Now, let's get this sorted out. Trying to do this at a distance because obviously I've got the camera set up is not the easiest. Normally I'd have my head in so I could see, but if I did that, all you'd get is my fat head in the way. to buy some new tweezers, these are knackered. Right. Screw that in place. Get the other side of the board screwed down. And then the fun begins. Right, you can just feed this underneath with the other white cable, but that's not where it came from. And although it's a faff, I like to put the cables back where they came from. Go on. Yeah, you beauty. Obviously the cable didn't fancy this being a four hour video. There we go. Probably should have tested those left and right buttons before I took it apart. Just so I don't have to get back in and adjust them if they need it. Always get the little springs back on for the L and R buttons. Volume down, right down. make they make sure they match up because the last thing you want to do is snap off the volume or the power switch when clipping it back together excellent
try wings on these two and the third one because of course Nintendo love to mix up their screws try wing for the black one at the top here and Phillips for these two Phillips for one inside the battery cover. And the Phillips for the battery cover. And there you have it, one grubby but working DS Lite with a hinge that actually clicks now, doesn't wobble about. Brilliant, catch you in the next one.